everybody, uh, welcome to another video. I am smiling or looking somewhat happy because uh, I'm en route to Silverstone for round one of the British Superbike Championship. I will be competing in the Stock 1000 class and I'm bringing you with me. I'm going to see how this one goes but potentially try and do this at most race weekends at BSB and um, and definitely for the, the road races Northwest and TT. But uh, not really a fly on the wall type thing, it's just going to be, be me chatting rubbish uh, between and around the sessions. I've got to practice qualifying two races so the plan is to try and get some points on the board, um, a top 15 finish which um, it's hard. Any class of BSB in the British Championship is tough, so tough. Um, so, yeah, not easy, but uh, I'll be doing my best as always, and um, that's the, the, the aim score some points, but also to end this video with me either prior to leaving the circuit or driving home, perhaps similar thing to this, um, in the same state I'm in now, up walking and functioning normally which wasn't the case last week when I uh, during a test here at uh, Silverstone in the wet I fell off um, on the second day uh, fourth gear high side got a bit beaten up with the bike and, uh, and ended up in hospital actually um, or being collected from hospital by Dale my mechanic in my van and he delivered me and my van home safely um, with a sore head and a sore neck. My neck, head's fixed, neck is still a bit sore, but will we'll work enough for this weekend. Um, anyway, that's the plan and the goals. Score some points, not get hurt, and enjoy, enjoy the weekend. Anyway, I'm gonna get this drive done. The weather's looking all right, it's raining at the moment, but the forecast is good, and let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed we can have a good weekend. Good morning, right, it's Friday. Sorry, sort this camera out. Friday, first practice day here at Silverstone. Uh, I've got two practice sessions today, but because I crashed last week, I'm just on the way to medical center for, a, it's called a fit to ride. I have to see a doctor and just, uh, they have to basically check me over and make sure I am fit to ride again this weekend because it was a, a big enough crash for them to be, uh, I have concern really that uh, it's a standard thing but a good thing just to make sure everyone's in good place and um, actually it was last week I was here Silverstone Medical Centre which um, I'm sure most bike racers have been at some point in their career um, but uh, yeah so get this done and then uh, a briefing riders briefing sort my kit out a little bit and we got first practice so um, provide my pass this everything's good here which I'm sure it will be so let's get this bit done uh, right well a bit of a fast forward to be honest from um, from the medical center on uh, Friday morning I haven't got a reasonable excuse I haven't picked the camera up since then and it's now Sunday morning which is main race day um, and uh, unfortunately I'm not going to be racing because I broke two engines yesterday I say I broke I'm, I'm not really taking responsibility uh, I, 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 I don't like to take responsibility for things I try and blame the mechanics wherever possible so to be fair I don't think it's even their fault but the main thing is uh, well unfortunately we're not going to be racing today uh, we need to get say we they need to get those engines stripped and the same problem has happened twice so uh, we need to understand what's happened and prevent it happening again so the anyway so the engines out of the bike um, although they have been productive today spending the day working on my TT superbike is here in the garage and uh, or out the back of the garage they've been working on that um, with the suspension guys, the, the Tubo suspension guys, getting things set and dialed in because today is Sunday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we're due at Alton Park for uh, some testing and I'll be riding my road racing bikes there. So um, 
all is not lost, although it's a bit frustrating being at a racetrack and not racing. So today I'm just a spectator. It's um, going back to the riding I have done this weekend. It was good. I, I've actually enjoyed myself on the bike and we haven't had big changes, which I suppose is a good a good sign, means we're close and the feeling I had in the races yesterday in the race yesterday was was good I would say. I felt comfortable. Um, I just just wasn't like uh, I held back a little bit, I suppose I was being a bit of a uh, I don't wanna use the wrong word, but being a bit soft, I probably should have got stuck in a little bit more but it's far, it's hard to justify when you're like I finished 23rd in the end I was riding around with McGuinness and um, there was a few other road guys around us Dunlop was there at the beginning but he pitted in and it was quite enjoyable um, actually so I was you know it uh, but weirdly the engine failed on the inlap so it was kind of lucky I suppose in that respect we got one race under the belt which means means uh, a signature for my road license or my race road race TT license so um, but that's it unfortunately now until Wednesday we're back out and try again and then in a couple of weeks we're at Alton Park uh, back out in the Superstock class to, to go again and, and uh, yeah looking forward to it I'm enjoying the riding enjoying the bike uh, I hope you enjoy these videos it's um, we'll just see where they where they go but um, feedback is, is, is key really so if there's anything in particular you want me to cover or do a video on um, you know, I don't really want to, yeah, if anything you think could help these or, you know, areas of racing that you'd like me to focus on or do something in particular on, then let me know in the comments and um, we'll see what we can do. But as things hot up and more practice, the videos should get better and um, certainly TT and Northwest, we can do some kind of behind the scenes footage there, a bit of a video diary during those events. So. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, even though it's not that much of an exciting video. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see what comes next. Thanks for watching.